The Manila Bay Beach is a project of the Philippine National Government. It is part of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DNR's Manila Bay Rehabilitation in January 2019. Within the same year, part of the 2020 national project was allocated for the artificial beach. The project has received support from the Manila City Government. Work on the artificial beach began as early as August 2020 when the government issued the permit to Philippine Mining Service Corporation to transport cross dolomite from Alcoy, Cebu to Manila. When the Manila Bay Beach project came to wider public attention in 2020, the project has received criticism from environment and heritage conservationist groups. Among these include the timing of the project, which was implemented amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, and concerns of adverse environmental effects caused by dumping dolomite on the polluted Manila Bay. As of September, Environment Chief suspends dolomite mining operation in Cebu as a source of Manila Bay white sand. The Manila Bay beach was first opened to the public from September 2020 but it was closed again for expansion. The Manila Bay beach is an artificial beach adjacent to the United States Embassy Chancery Complex. It was made by dumping crushed dolomite on top of naturally occurring gray sand. At least 3,500 wet metric tons of dolomite sourced from mine in the town of Alcoy in Cebu, run by the Dolomite Mining Corporation. The initial phase of the beach project cost 28 million pesos including the purchase and transport of dolomite. The planned total length of the beach will cover the whole stretch of Rojas Boulevard. The beach, if completed, will have the breakwater of the Manila Yachts Club at its southernmost tip. The Department of Health or DOH cautioned that the inhalation of dolomite dust can cause respiratory issues. However, after the Health Department learned from the DENR that dolomite used for the artificial beach is 2 to 5 millimeters or 100 times bigger than dust, it released an advisory that dolomite used in the Manila Bay beach won't pose health hazard since it won't get suspended in the air. The DENR has maintained that the dolomite used to create the Manila Bay beach poses no harm to the Manila Bay's ecosystem. The dumping of dolomite has been suspected as a possible cause of fish kill on September 17, 2020 near the waters of the Baseco compound. The DENR countered the claim saying that the fish kill happened 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles away from the artificial beach, pointed out that the southwest monsoon is prevailing at the time and the presence of a breakwater between the site and adjacent waters of the beach. Cebu's Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Office or PENRO conducted a survey on coral reefs in Alcoy, Cebu. Each study concluded that corals in the 500 square meter or 5,400 square feet area sustained damage due to heavy siltation caused by the mining of dolomite used for the Manila Bay project. The Cebu provincial government suspended mining and transport of dolomite on September 8 and launched an investigation. The municipality of Alcoy also agreed with the governor on suspending local transport of dolomite pending resolution of the impasse 
on environmental impact monitoring and revenue sharing scheme. Despite the dramatic facelift, the government still prohibits the public from swimming in the area. Located near the port area of Manila, this portion of the bay remains polluted despite intermittent efforts to rehabilitate over the years. The attraction is expected to draw promenaders not just from the city of Manila but from all over the metropolis, much like nearby Rizal Park. On weekends, pedestrians crowded the area despite the rule on social distancing to take snapshots and selfies. Many have asked whether it was prudent to have spent that much money on a cosmetic project in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has the government groping for resources to sustain public health programs and the flagging economy. The DENR defended the project saying it is for the metropolis poor residents who cannot afford vacations to real white sand beaches like Burapay in Aklan province. Even Metro Manila mayor welcomed his city's new white sand beach. This new attraction lies along the portion of Rojas Boulevard near the U.S. Embassy in Manila and is part of the government's plan to rehabilitate Manila Bay.